Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use Firebase Auth in Sketchware to create a simple login or register system. Now for this we need to add our we need to add our app to a Firebase project and for that we have to create a new Firebase project in Firebase console. So first we have to create a new Firebase project then add our app or package name of our app to this Firebase project and after that we will get these in settings we will get project id web api key and app id so we have to just click on this button called project settings and from here we have to copy the project id web api key and app id app id project id and web api key and then we have to go to sketchware in sketchware we have to go to library and then go to firebase here we have to add these things project id app id and api key now after this we have to switch this on so after switching on firebase we have to go back to the firebase console and here we have to click on authentication in authentication we find several options these are users sign in method templates usage here we have to go to sign in method and in sign in method we have to enable email or password and we have to enable anonymous rest of the things cannot be used in sketchware so we need not enable them then it has these templates one of them is email address verification other ones are password reset etc but i don't know how to use them so we'll just leave this here so we have to enable email or password and anonymous and if there are any rules we you have to set it to if true or true then let's move to sketchware here i have created this simple app which contains these four pages actually it contains five pages but here i will be using only these three main.xml which is for logging in then i have register.xml which is for registering a new user then i have this forgot password page which can be used if user forgets his password and then i have this chat page to which the user moves if he successfully logs in this is chat.xml this post comments is something which i will not be using in this video so here in main.xml i have this single linear layout for which i have set gravity to center horizontal and center vertical and inside this i have added an image view this edit text one for entering email then a edit text two for entering password then i have this button one for logging in and i have text view one for moving to the forget password page and text view 2 for moving to the register.xml page in components i have added a firebase auth component f auth and an intent component i now in on create i check if the user is already logged in so here i use if firebase auth is logged in then i use intent to move to chat activity so if the user is already logged in then he directly goes to chat activity he doesn't have to log in again so for that i use this intent set screen chat activity and start activity i and if user is not logged in then nothing will happen here so next the user enters email id and password and that clicks on button one 
So when button one is clicked, I use this block Firebase auth sign in with email, edit text one get text, and password edit text two get text. So the contents of edit text two are password and contents of edit text one are email. And if they both match or if they both are correct, then here I have used this event Firebase auth on sign in user complete. So when sign in is complete, if it is success then I use intent to move to chat activity and if it is not a success then I toast the error message. It's so simple and now for these two buttons which are text view 1 and text view 2. In text view 1 on click event I use intent to move to forgot password activity and in text view 2 on click event I use intent to move to register activity. So now let's move to the register activity which is the second page register activity. Here the user can enter a new email id and a password and click on register. So here I have nothing in on create event on button one click I use this block firebase firebase auth create user with email edit text one get text and password edit text two get text so it will create a user with the email id entered in edit text one and password entered in edit text two and then I have this event Firebase auth on create user complete. If it is a success, then I finish this activity. And since the user has come to this place from the main page, when I finish the activity, he moves back to the main page, which is the login page. So if he successfully creates an account, he is asked to login. And if it is not a success, then I toast the error message whatever the error is and in that case he has to register again and if he has if he doesn't want to register he can simply click the back button and he will move back to the login page. So here also I have these two text views one is forgot password and second one is already registered click here to login. So when user clicks on forgot password he moves to this forgot password activity and if he clicks on already registered click here to login then I just finish activity and user moves back to the main page. So this is about the second page. Now suppose user clicks on forgot password on this page or login page then he moves here and here he can enter the email id and click on reset password. This email id is edit text 1 and reset password is button 1. So here when button 1 is clicked I use this block firebase auth send password reset email to edit text 1 get text. So whatever email id you enter here if it is already registered it sends a password reset email and here also I have this event firebase auth on reset password email sent if it is a success I toast password reset email sent and if it is not a success then I toast error password reset email could not be sent and when this button text view 2 is clicked I just use finish activity to move to the previous activity which can be the login or register page ok and after that is one more thing on all these pages on this page firebase forgot password activity dot java here also I use this firebase auth component f auth 
and in register activity also I have this 5s auth component f auth plus I have this intent component i and that is all here in this video or in this coding part. Now here this is the app, this is main page of the app which is login page and here suppose I enter my email id, I do not know my password so I will just enter my email id. And let us try with a password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And here, if I click on login, okay, this is the correct password. So, I logged in and moved to the chat activity. And suppose I enter a wrong password, and here I click on login, and it toasts the password is invalid or the user does not have a password and here I can click on forget password enter my email id here and click on reset password and here it says password reset email sent and I receive the email here reset your password for project follow the link to reset the password and if I click on this I am taken to a page where I can enter my new password. So, this is how we can use this thing in Sketchware. Now, one more thing is when I click the back button on the main page like I if I log in successfully and move to the chat activity and suppose I do not want to move back to the login page when I click back button here I just want to exit the app then I will show you what to do then we just have to go to this page chat.xml and in chat activity when back button is clicked here on back button press we have to use this block or this code simple code finish affinity finish affinity and that is all then it will just exit the app. So that is all in this video thank you very much for watching this.